What is going on, Internet? Happy Friday, and welcome to another Deck Tech. Right now, or I guess today, I'm not really feeling too inspired. So I'm going to go play, for sure, you guys, my version of the, the Is It Aggro deck. And I call this Spelling Bee because really, like, you know, what's the centerpiece of the deck? Is it the Pyromancers? Is it the Gutter Snipes? Is it the Kiln Fiends? No, it's the spells that trigger all those dudes. So besides, everyone plays this deck against me, so it's my turn to play this deck. So, but really, this version is the Artful Dodge version. Like, you can go, like, a little bit, go for a little bit of a longer game. But I'm at the, the 22 land Artful Dodge version. So real quick, we'll go through four Vapor Snag, four Artful Dodge, four Think Twice, two Talrand, two Banefire, one Coordinated Assault, four Shocks, three Young Pyromancers, four Kiln Fiends, four Krenko's Commands, two Goblin Rabble Master, three Gutter Snipe, and one Trumpet Blast with 22 lands and four Tap Lands. So I don't know what 4, 22, two, 2 out of 11, whatever percentage that is. Was that less than 20% tap lands? Whatever, good enough. So like most of the Is It decks, like you have you have your core guys, like especially the Is It Aggro decks. You have your Pyromancers, your Kiln Fiends, your Gutter Snipes. Um, you just run Rattle Master just because there is a little bit of you know negative synergy with the Gutter Snipe. But there are ways around that as well. And then I go just a slightly bit bigger with Talrand. But, you know, all these cards, the exception of the Rattle Master, just, you know, they get a bonus when you start casting spells. And speaking of spells, we have the four Vapor Snags, you know, does damage, force through damage, tempo them out. Got the four Artful Dodges, which, again, force through damage. Like, you know, if you're playing small ball like this, like, think about what usually happens when you play a Pyromancer, or a Rabble Master, or a Gutter Snipe. Like, you just never swing with them. So Artful Dodge is good for more than just a Kiln Fiend. I mean, I mean, if your opponent has an empty board, then you're just in good shape anyways. But, you know, I think the Artful Dodge really makes this archetype. That's why I run all four. You know, sometimes it's dead. But, you know, it is good enough. I mean, it's really the flashback that makes it, so... Let's count the total number of spells, really. So four. This is really eight. There's 12. Here's four. Here's eight more because of the flashback. There's 20. 22, 23, 27, 31. 32 spells, technically. So that's what we're going on there. You know, I got pretty much, you know, both flashback cards. And Think Twice keeps you stocked. Um, I actually had three coordinated assaults, and I've been, you know, gradually going down and down. And I fiddled with, you know, some bounce spells, peel from reality, which is terrible in this in this deck because you don't you don't want to return a guy to your hand. I mean, yeah, I guess it's nice to save your guy from targeted removal, but more often than not, it just was a hassle. So I just just threw in two bane fire and just kept the one coordinated assault. Like you know, it's still a spell, and you know, it scales. You know, if you flood out, I mean, you know, the games sometimes do go long, then this is a way to close it out. And, you know, doubles its early removal. I mean, it does it all. I mean, sorcery speed, it kind of sucks, but you tend to tap out a lot with this deck anyways, so whatever. Now, as far as, like, the coordinated assault, why well, I had three, but went down to one. I mean, it is extra damage, and actually it's good on defense, especially, you know, with the Kiln Fiend. Or even, you know, just... Just two one ones. That's you know four power of first strike on defense. I mean you can't you can get blown out with the removal spell. That's kind of why I went all the way down to one. But you know it's all right in combat. You know force through extra damage, another trigger for all your guys. But usually not something I want to risk. You know I don't want to swing with a pyromancer or or a gutter snipe. I mean with the rabble master it's good because you know that's a that's a lot of a lot of power you generate usually generate with the Rabble Master and give me a first strike, it's a good deal. And then, as far as like the combat spells go, I just have one Trumpet Blast. It's been okay for like the board stalls, but I don't even know if I want it. But it's just down to one. Now, of course, you're going to have your four Shocks and your four Krenko's Commands. And 
yeah, as far as the lands go, because it's just four tap lands. I run 22. Some people go way, way down. But, you know, you do need your mana for a lot of stuff. You know, a lot of time, you know, you don't just want to play like a naked Pyromancer or a naked Gutter Snipe. I mean, if you can help it. So, you know, you want to hit your land drops. You want to be able to, you know, kind of play two things in one turn. And, you know, the extra amount of land does take, take a little bit of advantage with Banefire. You know, you want to be think twice and flashback. So, you know, you do need a fair amount of mana. I mean, you you can operate on three mana, but, you know, it's not the end of the world if you have four or five. Like I said, you have we have the two Bane Fires as a way to, like, counteract Mana Flood. And, yeah, I mean, I'm sure pretty much anyone watching this video has seen a version of this deck in action. Actually, in the last video. Wait, was it, was it the last video? No, it was the video before that. Like, I think this is a really hard deck to screw up. You can screw it up. Like, okay, what did we see last video? Like, the guy was using Quickens for... For what? Just to... Just to cycle? Like... So you something like Artful Dodge? Like, at least you're forcing damage through. So I didn't really like that. He was using, you know, four Fleeting Distractions. Again, you know, just... Just to cycle, and they really didn't do anything. And he was playing Electromancers, which... I mean, in his deck, he had a Time Warp, but you're going to play Electromancers just to get a 1-mana discount on Time Warp, which is something I don't run. I don't really think this deck is really made to take advantage of a Time Warp. I mean, situations where a Time Warp would be good means you already have, like, you know, a full unopposed board. Speaking of a full board, usually with most of these creatures, like the Pyromancer, or the Kiln Fiend, or the Gutter Snipe, like, you don't have to play out all your creatures. Each one of these guys is, you know, your opponent's like, shit, I got to deal with that, I can deal with that. So, you know, you can... You can play out one at a time so you don't run into a sweeper. I mean, if you're playing against like a heavy green deck, then sure, just run all those fuckers out. But you don't really see heavy green decks too often. Or, you know, against fellow aggro decks, you can run all your threats out. But, you know, against the mid-range decks, like, you know, if you, if you think there's a cleansing or an anger to gods in your future, like, the game, the deck works just fine just having one dude at a time out there. Because your one dude will create lots of other dudes. So, yeah, it's, that's really it. This might be the, the quickest deck tech. Um, I'm having a hard time figuring out, you know, what thumbnail to use for this. I think because, you know, it is an Artful Dodge deck. Because if you're going to run Kiln Fiends, like, you should be running the Artful Dodge, even though the Artful Dodge works good with everyone else. So I think this is an Artful Dodge deck, so I'll try and find a thumbnail to fit that. I'm pretty sure it's going to have something to do with dodgeball. But you'll probably have already seen the thumbnail before, you know, I even start ranting about it. And what is that thing? A weird old man wearing a brain helmet? So anyways, this is what we're playing for three episodes. You should probably, every game is going to be quick, so probably each episode will have at least three games on it. But again, this is kind of like, you know, this is a this is my my vacation deck. Like when I, was, I mean, you do have to think, but you know, usually the games go quick. So, anyways, thanks for tuning in. We'll have gameplay up shortly, and goodbye.